First of all, the exchange in the box just comes in a, uh, a simple box, brown ruffle around this size. It's not a manufacturer's box, it's just a box we produced uh, from the workshop. So first of all, we'll have a quick look at, at what you get with the exchange in the box. So you get the two cords, which are on the side. you get the power supply, and you get the actual unit itself. Now I should explain that these units are repurposed and so they are in effect obsolete but it's a kit we use them or repurpose them because they will understand pulse dialing as well as tone dialing for old vintage telephones and they'll have enough juice if you like to ring old phones so they you know they will show signs of, of wear and tear to a certain extent uh, but they've all been tested reflashed and uh, set up so that they'll basically just plug and play so in the box, as I said, we get two leads. One is, is a 12-metre lead, and the other is a 3-metre lead. But obviously, you can extend that with a simple uh, extension lead if you need to go to a, a greater length. You can go to, provided you use a decent quality telephone, standard telephone extension lead, you can go to about 100 metres or possibly beyond, depending on the quality of the lead. So first of all, we'll just, and that's basically it, you get so power, 12 volt power supply, all UK designed if you like. The exchange in the box and the two sockets with their appropriate leads. So first of all, we'll just plug the, just to show you how it all works, how to set it up. It's, it is all plug and play. So we'll just literally plug the power supply in and put the power into the, it's a 12 volt supply, into the actual unit. And the unit will go through some self checks, so that'll take about two minutes to actually go through its diagnostics and then set itself up. It is important that you don't take the dongle out, that's key to the actual thing working, and the lights, when it comes up, should show up on the, on the, uh, on the dongle. So that'll take two minutes to come up, so while we're doing that, we'll just set up the other part. So this is the longer lead, and again, you have two ports at the back, two telephone ports, you can plug them into telephone one or telephone two, for now I'll plug this one into phone one and then I'll plug the other one into phone two. And these are what's known as RJ11 connectors, but the actual sockets that your telephones plug into are standard UK sockets, euphemistically called BT sockets, even though they're used by everybody else in the UK. Right, so what we'll do now is we'll plug in to show you how it works, and that's it, and that's all you need to do. You obviously you can run that those cables somewhere neat, and as I say, you just wait for two minutes for it to come up. But what I'll do just to show you how it works is I'll plug in a, an old, this is actually an old Bakelite 1950s telephone, uh, and again, standard socket, plug it into, into one of the into these, and again. As I mentioned before, you can use modern telephones. This is a modernish telephone. It's push button and tone dialing. So I'll plug that into the other, into the other socket. That's pulse dial, and as I say, 1950s, but they've both got the standard leads on there. So if we want to make a, a call from one to the other, we can do it from the modern phone to this one. So I'll pick that up and then that's reached the two minute point and then if I just press zero the it will ring the the collect phone obviously as we mentioned before with the UK cadence so it sounds just like any UK and suddenly I can dial if that's on stage I can dial off stage and dial we've programmed in various numbers so for example an easy number to remember is why tall one two one two which is just simply one two one two so that's ringing the modern phone obviously it could and then you could have a, a conversation between the two and discuss whatever you wanted to if you're going to use it for example as a uh, as an intercom system put the phones down and it's as, it's literally as simple as that One of the things we've done to make it true plug and play is pre-programmed in a range of numbers that you can dial from on stage or off stage between the various phones. So if you wanted, for example, to simulate a two-digit dialing number, which would have been somewhere in the, in probably somewhere in the 1930s, 
Uh, we set a bit so you can dial 4 1. So dial 4 1. It will ring the phone, and then obviously you can then have a conversation between two actors on stage if necessary. And that would be a two digit number. A lot of people would probably want the four digit numbers. So, for example, in the days of New Scotland Yard, it was Whitehall 1212. And so, in that era, you would dial, you'd pick it up, and you would dial 1212. And again, that would ring the phone in exactly the same way. And because that's the, probably the most popular period of time for a lot of these old phones, we've also given a second number in case you needed two numbers. And that number is 3131. Three, one. So again, that will dial through. And then as a later number, if you then want to wind forward into the into the into the 60s, you would have a a a uh, basically a six digit number so we'd use in that case we'd make it as simple as we can which would be six five four three two one just give you that little extra option and of course as we've mentioned before if you want to do a quick dial so that you don't want to give the actors too much to to remember is they can just pick it up and dial a zero. They like dialing the operator if it's a, a bedroom scene in a hotel or something like that. Or if, or if you're off stage and you just want to dial that one quickly, you can just pick it up and dial zero. And obviously that's even quicker off stage if you're using a push button phone. So we think we've covered all the ranges there. If there's anything specific you wanted, we can actually add that to the system. But it's something that we need to configure back in our workshop before it's sent out. Because I said that the whole concept of this is you just plug it together and use it. You don't need any electrical skills or computing skills to actually use the thing. It's The basics of the design is simplicity. One of the key criteria for building this particular solution was to make it so that it's intuitive. So anybody who's going to use this, whether it's as an intercom system or whether it's used in a play, it should be completely intuitive. So, you know, you pick it up, you then actually get dial tone, and then if you want to dial the numbers, you dial the numbers just as though you were on a telephone exchange in the UK. So provided the person actually knows how to use a telephone, a landline telephone, if, uh, if, they're old, if they're old enough to remember, then it should be second nature. There's no specialist buttons to press, no timing issues. If somebody picks up a phone, it will stop the ringing straight away. So if I dial that again, just to show you that does work. Rings the phone, and as soon as it's picked up, it stops. And if you need, you can have that conversation. There's no feedback. The audio quality is actually really good so it doesn't disturb anybody actually using it. They can't hear their own voice too much. All the kind of things that you can get with special electronics if you're not careful. So we try to think of, of all those elements and make it as simple and as intuitive as possible. What I'm going to explain now is not important unless you're going to use the phones to dial out from stage and use old pulse dial telephones. Old Pulse dial telephones like this, or sometimes called rotary dials, need to be calibrated correctly if they're going to work with modern equipment. And that can be a little bit confusing sometimes because if you plug it into a, a BT telephone line, because their equipment is designed to work with a huge ratio of error, then even if you've got a badly out of adjustment just a dial, it will still work on a BT line. However, if you plugged it into something like a, a talk to telephone exchange line, then if it's not in, in pretty good calibration, it will not dial out reliably. The good news is once this calibration's done, and it's probably been done on your phone already, but if once it's done, it should last 20 or 30 years. But it is quite important if you want to dial out reliably. Obviously, you can still ring into the phone, it'll still answer the phone. It's just that one feature of dialing out from a rotary dial. And I've actually produced a separate video for anybody who needs to do that to show how to adjust that calibration or you know it can pertain to a reputable 
vintage telephone restorer. It's only actually necessary on probably about 15-20% of these phones. Most of them have been maintained and recalibrated in the last 20-30 years. It's just the odd ones that, that may exhibit that problem. I'm just really explaining this just in case there's the confusion of well it works when I plug it into a BT line but not when you plug it into exchange in a box and that's the reason for the difference it's that fact that the BT telephone exchange is not quite unique but, but very tolerant to out of adjustment out of adjusted dials. As we've already mentioned if you need to extend the range beyond in effect 12 meters and three meters you can actually use extension leads of various lengths up to 200 meters if they're a decent quality that's all you do if you want to do that is just plug your extension lead in and plug your phone into that extension lead obviously it's going to use a lot longer than this and similarly it will, it will still work fine when I was here. and again it's that concept of standard components no specialist wiring, no specialist electronics. 